My... Yes, yeah, let's go. Okay. Uh, my name is Mohamed. Uh, I am I'm in Baku. I am working at Magon Scratch Sort Testing Company as a web security researcher. And today we shall about, uh, talk about uh, modern web application security researching techniques. Uh, okay. Our topics are XSS, SQL injection, command injection, and execution, CSRF, file uploads, EQCA, and API security problems such as mass assignment, broken function level authorization, IDOR, and SSRF. Okay, uh, what's XSS? Uh, XSS is a variation of cross site scripting and XSS is web security vulnerability which allows the attacker to inject client side script to the web page. XSS found in user inputs such as login forms <clears throat> and uh, reflect this. There are three types of XSS. Uh, three types of XSS are reflected. Uh, and stored and home based XSS. One of them is uh, reflected XSS. Uh, reflected XSS attacks, also known as non persistent XSS attacks, occur when a, uh, when a man initial script is reflected of a web application to the victim's uh, browser. Uh, its impact is not critical, but uh, it's useful for phishing attacks. And you can prevent this vulnerability with uh, using with uh, using WAF, web application firewalls, uh, or fixing uh, uh, code. Uh, this issue with code level and uh, code level you prevent with. Uh, <clears throat> escaping uh, HTML, uh, HTML special charts or uh, escaping these parameters. And another uh, type of XSS is stored XSS. Stored XSS is so critical vulnerability. Uh, stored XSS uh, occur when a malicious script is stored database and are reflected of an application. Uh, to the victim's browser when web page is loading. Uh, for example, uh, in this case, uh, stored XSS uh, cause session hijacking and uh, account takeover problem. And okay, uh, for example, uh, in uh, website as uh, Stored XSS vulnerability and uh, attacker store his uh, logger uh, script into the, uh, the page and when uh, victims uh, when, when victims are surfing in this page, uh, they are logged in uh, sessions uh, in the cookies uh, sent to uh, attacker. Uh, logger system and uh, it causes uh, account takeover vulnerability. And uh, another type of XSS is DOM based XSS. It's, it's, in, it's involved client side problem. For example, uh, you select menu has uh, XSS, uh, select menu uh, is uh, manipulate with uh, user input and you uh, <coughs> writing uh, if you write uh, XSS uh, if you write XSS payload uh, input as input uh, this <coughs> uh, payload or works uh, works in page works at page Okay, in fact, uh, you now can you uh, 
XSS vulnerabilities uh, reported at HackerOne, for example, uh, mopup.com, Shopify, and Starbucks. And their bounties, for example. And another uh, technique is SQL injection. Uh, it's classic, it's classic uh, vulnerability. SQL injection <clears throat> is a web security vulnerability that allows uh, an attacker to alter SQL queries made to database. It can be used to retrieve uh, sensitive information and like database structure, table, columns, and their data. Um, okay. There are four types of SQL injection. Uh, one of them is classic SQL injection. For example, uh, you inject uh, drop and uh, drop or alter uh, query to the database, uh, database query, and you can uh, it calls uh, dropping database and uh, altering data and so on. Uh, another type of SQL injection is zero-based SQL injection. Uh, this type of SQL injection relies on the error message being thrown by a database server, which might provide us uh, some useful information, uh, database structure, such as uh, tables, uh, columns, and data, sensitive data. And another type of uh, SQL injection is union-based, which is a union statement operator to combine the result of SQL select uh, queries and return single table. It allows an attacker extract information from other tables by appending the result uh, is one uh, query. And another type of SQL injection is blind injection. Uh, for example, you are <coughs> in uh, application written by, uh, written in PHP, PHP language. Uh, developer uh, uh, and uh, disabled uh, <coughs> uh, developer is uh, disabled. SQL um, uh, error reporting, such a, uh, error reporting, and uh, in if have if you have any problem uh, with application, uh, it does uh, <clears throat> it is result in result uh, you you don't uh, get any error message and so on. This happens when the application is vulnerable to SQL injection. But the result of a SQL query are not returned in HTTP response. Uh, blind SQL injection has uh, many sub uh, attack vectors, for example, time based, volume based, and so on. And <clears throat> uh, other uh, there is SQL injection reports and impact penalties uh, report to use the of defense at uh, Starbucks, it's penalty. And another uh, attack vector is command injection and execution. Uh, it's similar with SQL injection, but uh, it's, uh, it's not using uh, use database for example uh, you are uh, you have application uh, you uh, send a ip address with parameter as parameter and it's ping it pings uh, to a to ip address uh, after uh, if you inject a os command and it uh, will be executed Will be executed. 
its imp uh, impacts are critical. Uh, article <coughs> can get your uh, own, own, even own uh, your system. For example, command execution in the club, it's Bounty. Twelve. Bounty. It's a uh, command injection. Okay. CSRF. Uh, CSRF is uh, techniques that allows hackers to carry out unwanted actions on victim uh, browsers. For example, a hacker change uh, password, user's password, and transfer money from uh, your bank account without uh, any permission. In image, you <clears throat> you can see that a user enters a com and a com contains some images uh, that are host b com and uh, for example attacker uh, inject a URL in I, uh, in iframe and uh, when victim uh, surfing site uh, it's uh, <clears throat> this link uh, uh, will request it uh, says so uh, it's presentation mechanism uh, so uh, there are, uh, there are uh, a lot of uh, presentation form of CSRF attack. For example, uh, using CSRF tokens or using same site cookies or, and same, uh, using same margin policy and so on. Um, <clears throat> in Khan Academy and Bado, uh, was had CSRF vulnerability and it reported. <clears throat> uh -huh. mm, file upload vulnerabilities is a widespread uh, vulnerability in web systems. For example, you have uh, upload in form and you must, uh, <clears throat> you can get a uh, uh, image types and attacker, up, uh, for example, uh, your application written in PHP language and attacker uploads PHP uh, backdoor or uh, malicious PHP script such as web shell or uh, web backdoor script and uh, access to your system. In this image, you can see uh, attacker uploads PHP script with PHP info function that uh, uh, retrieve page, uh, PHP information in the web server. And another image you can see attacker uh, retrieve my scale configuration. Or XML external integer processing is another attack vector. What's XML? XML is markup language uh, which is more readable and parsed by meshes. Uh, it's simple data structure and XML have uh, entities uh, which uh, similar uh, which similar um, variables in programming language. For example, attacker uh, attacker use SSRF <coughs> uh, request to the entity. Uh, named by XXA and uh, it sends it uh, server. Server processing it, uh, server processing it, and XXA uh, entity 
uh, retrieve password file. Okay. Uh, another problem, common problem, is API security. API security has a lot of uh, attack vectors, but I talk about four of them. And mass assignment, uh, broken function level authorization, idle, and SSL. One of them is mass assignment. Uh, mass assignment <coughs> is a vulnerability where an active record pattern in web application is abused to make modified data items uh, that a user should normally be allowed to access such as password, granted password, or administration status. Uh, <coughs> you can see request, first request, uh, user sends post request to API register endpoint with email parameter. And uh, this is a response, uh, first response you can see uh, email verified parameter that uh, me, that means uh, you are not verified, you can't log in to the system. And uh, you can see second request, user sends email verified uh, parameter with true value. And in response, uh, second response, uh, email verified true parameter retrieved. That uh, means that mean you are verified uh, administration. <clears throat> and uh, user, in this case, uh, user bypassed uh, verification process from administration. Uh, another <clears throat> uh, attack vector is broken function level authorization. Uh, it's so simple, for example, uh, you have any uh, you have API uh, endpoint and it's uh, uh, used from admin admins, uh, admin access uh, people, and uh, normal user privilege, uh, even a normal user privilege, uh, use this API. For example, deleting you of, of users. Uh, is administrative service, but normal user privilege uh, use this service. Uh, for example, you uh, user ID uh, user IDs is a number of type. Uh, if a user ID is number of data, uh, you uh, <coughs> uh, you manipulate I, uh, user IDs and. Uh, you can delete all system users. And another uh, attack vector is insecure direct object reference. And another name of uh, another name of this is broken fun uh, object injection of uh, broken object. Uh, well, uh, broken ob uh, object level uh, authorization. Uh, that's, uh, it mean, that means, uh, for example, you are paying uh, for anything and you can get invoice with in, uh, numeric uh, invoice ID and you uh, manipulate this user ID parameter, uh, in, uh, invoice ID parameter with any numeric data and you can get uh, another people's uh, uh, invoice. <clears throat> and it's uh, insecure directory of reference vulnerability. Impact, uh, for example, uh, uh, <clears throat> such systems, uh, in, uh, some systems have uh, either vulnerability and a uh, normal user uh, can get any information about uh, 
another users and modify them and delete them and so on. Uh, another uh, security issue is SSRF, server side request forgery. Uh, imagine uh, we are using web application firewall and uh, attacker in view uh, only uh, 80 and 443 ports from outside. If uh, you are, if your system has uh, SSRF vulnerability, and hacker uh, can scan your uh, external infrastructure, such as port scanning, and another uh, attack vector is uh, reading uh, files from uh, local. For example, they uh, they using this vulnerability and file schema uh, attacker can read any file from local files. Uh, another attack vector is Koffer Sham, uh, which uh, hacker use uh, Sham to uh, send emails from your server. Uh, and it's critical uh, for cloud environments, for example, AWS and Google Cloud uh, attacker uh, can get your meta files, metadata, and secret keys, and your certificates, for example, SSL certificates, and so on. And uh, SSRF is sub vector of XXA. Please, I can see. Like six here. Yeah. You can see using x vector in the x uh, vector in x attack. Um, that's all. Thanks for attention. Thank you, Mohammed. Uh, any questions for the topic? And you can either write or you can ask in interactive because I think the number is fine. I think they are writing. Uh, Mama, do, do you do you want me to read or you would like to go to meeting minutes and read from there? Okay. Uh, I can put. I'm putting in the chat the link. Okay. Please. How we can find the uploaded shell pass? It works by tampering sometimes if I get lucky, but mostly it doesn't. Please. That's a question. Good question. How how can we find the uploaded shell pass? So, how can uh, is it well, clear the question? Uh, I can't uh, see the question. You can't go to the meeting minutes. I put in the chat the meeting minutes. The uh, you click the box. I I, I can't see it. Um, you can't open this. This means this means uh, example. Uh, anyone uh, hack it, uh, hack it my um, server and uploaded some shell, yeah. And after that, I wanna find uh, uploaded shell uh, pass, as I understand. And yep. I think uh, if you ask it the question, you can elaborate and you can turn microphone and maybe too. 
Uh, Actually, please. there are there are some. Uh, I I uh, see. I see and please. Uh, I can find a full show. And okay, and you must. Uh, you, you can use Erka Hunter uh, in your server. Uh, or it's rootkit hunter, and they uh, it, uh, this, this tool uh, find your uh, all your uh, uploaded shells. And uh, okay, okay, okay. How can I find uploaded shell pass? It works time. Um, it's so. Uh, hard for example if uh, you are uh, it's uh, um, it's application logic for example if uh, application upload your uh, shell file uh, same as your uh, file name it's so uh, easy uh, for find but it's, uh, if uh, application has uh, your upload file name or uh, another encryption technologies, uh, it's so hard. Okay. There, there is another question, Mehmet. It's asking how developers can avoid these kind of vulnerabilities, best practices, tools, libraries? I mean, uh, programmers and developers, uh, if they uh, can read uh, OWASP uh, testing guide and OWASP, uh, OWASP uh, web application security technicals in OWASP, OWASP organization. Yeah. Web application security each, project. They publish each year, yeah? Or it's or every another year or something. I don't know. Okay. Okay. They um, have they have good documentation for open source uh, web security about web security tools and some prevention prevention methods and something this kind of things. They have, they, they have some good documentation. You can use OWASP. Open source web application vulnerability. If I correct, and I, I think it's also based on the language. If it's cloud, the, the, all of them has documentation. So I think yeah. it's uh, language for each one. It really depends on so many sources, but all of us is a key one. Yeah. Yep. Yep. All of top ten. Yeah. Um, yep. But okay. uh, actually, uh, um, example for most of uh, mm -hmm. languages uh, have some uh, frameworks uh, that have some pr protection methods uh, for, for example, for SQL injection and cross-site scripting and something. Yeah, it it, it depend on depends on uh, programming language. Uh, yeah, any other questions? And okay, then I, I will ask one more last question, Mohammed. Uh, I would say when you are using the authentication uh, way, so is there any pros and cons if you use OIDC? plus all authentication and is it and when you do like centralizing like using application like Okta and you know like uh, where you have one, one password or some tools there where you have all the password in one place is there any security risk and stuff so in this kind of cases where which is most of the companies currently using after uh, authentication mechanisms, um, let's say what's a you mean, you mean single sign on 
You yeah. mean single sign-on systems? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, single uh, sign-on system and like OIDC plus or I think authorization like uh, using OR okay. and is it using the most secure? Mm -hmm. I <clears throat> I use OST uh, sometimes, but new generation uh, I have I haven't any. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, Mehmet. Yeah. And thank you. He is really one of the active, excited member of the GoUp, and 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 as much as Emin Gulev. So thank you for both of you guys, and they are really good friends. And I, I think it's really excited and happy to have both of you. So yeah, uh, I think let's go to our third talk. Imran, are you here? Hi. Yes, I'm here. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, Mohammed. I'm gonna.